Today I review all new all different Avengers number 6, Spider-Man 2099 number 5, and Miss Marvel number 4. Hello and welcome to the show with reviews. I'm Orem and this week we're reviewing three comics just like we do every week. So let's get started. First up is all new all different Avengers number five written by Mark Wade with art by Mahmood Azrar. Okay, so let's get the obvious out of the way with this book again. They were not kidding with the clickbait cover again. Just like we reviewed in the last time with that kiss. The clickbait cover wasn't lying again. Miss Marvel is off the team for the time being, which is weird. But also, like, I don't know, she's gonna be back. It's, it's inevitable. Vision is fucking something up. Speaking of Vision, I don't know what he's up to. His solo series isn't helping the, like, creep factor that he's got going on either. He's just... I don't know what his deal is here. He's going a little little off his rocker. Something, something's going up in his little bionic head. I don't know what his deal is. But moving on to kind of the, the actual content and the meat of this issue here, the, um, the new villain that they're kind of uh, focusing on now is Kang, and he doesn't look like Kang. I thought it was actually the, like the new rebranded version of Doctor Doom at first, because that he kind of looks like that, but I don't know. Iron Man said it was Kang the Time Conqueror or whatever, and all these Ice, ice Fire Man dudes, I don't remember what they were called, but they're everywhere. I don't know what's going on. And that's kind of one of the nitpicks that I have about this specific issue is that it seemed very rushed. Everything just kind of happened in this one issue. There were like four reveals that just kind of went on and I don't know what was going on there. Really to me, the Thor and the Vision stuff is what carried this issue and kind of this series so far. It's just the most interesting interactions. Vision's being all creepy and Thor with no one knowing who she is is also super interesting. So yeah, this, this series has promise. I hope it picks up its pace again and stops being so rushed and clickbaity like it has been for the past few issues. Next up is Spider-Man 2099 issue 6, written by Peter David with art by Will Sliney. I just wanted to comment on this book's art real quick. I love it. This series has been outstanding for art, especially like the, the last series as well with Spider-Man 2099. It's just the art is very comic booky and it's kind of rare to see nowadays. You either get like super realistic or super stylized or something. You don't get like traditional comic book art a lot these days, so I appreciate it when it comes around. So this issue kind of introduces an inhuman theme here, which is something that I've noticed that a lot of Marvel books are doing lately. They're just kind of shoehorning in the inhumans just because they're pushing them a lot. And I mean, I'm fine with it to a certain extent. It's not obnoxious here, but in other books, I guess it's just, it's kind of wearing on me. Speaking of inhumans, Lash shows up in this book and he seems to be like the villain for this story arc or just he seems like he's gonna stick around for a while, and I just don't think he's a good fit as a villain for Miguel. They just don't have much to fight about here. I guess what their conflict is is gonna be revealed next issue, or if they end up working together because of the Terrigen cocoon that they were fighting over, or anything like that. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Finally is Miss Marvel number four, written by G. Willow Wilson with art by Nico Leon. Okay, so this new arc feels like a sitcom. And I love it. There's just a lot of jokes and the way that it's presented just kind of lends towards like a sitcom-y feel, if that makes any sense. I don't know. I like it. I really hope this isn't just filler that they're sticking with here. I want them to stick with the story art because it seems pretty interesting and some people could construe it as just like, oh, it's just a silly issue to bridge the gap between that story arc and the next one, but they just stick with this for a whole story arc. It's fun times. You need some fun times mixed in every now and then. Also, Kamala is shown to be an Avenger here, so I'm not sure if this book takes place either before All New All Different issue 5 or after it when she inevitably rejoins the team and everything's all dandy. I'm gonna guess that it takes place before because in this Kamala's kind of showing that she's not the best Avenger out there, so... I don't know. All in all though, this series has been consistently great even before Secret Wars. Everything is just top-notch writing art, everything. It's a good book. But those are all the reviews I got for you this week. Be sure to tell me what you thought about your comics that you picked up in the comments. Before you head out, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything that we upload every other Wednesday and every Friday. That all being said, thank you so much for watching. Next time I take a trip to Earth 2 and tie up my doppelganger and just pretend to be him for a while and just kind of see how that feels.